Rebuilding Together of the Triangle believes everyone deserves to live in a safe, healthy home, and we help to do that for homeowners across the Triangle region by making home repairs, modifications, and uh, performance upgrades. The goal is not just to fix buildings, but is really designed to support the people who live in those buildings, and so um, that drives really our whole program, and we use it in terms of uh, how we think about success in a home. We certainly uh, want the work to be done effectively, but the real goal is making sure we select the right work uh, so that folks are seeing a, a change in their life, whether that's improving a respiratory function for somebody who has a COPD or asthma, or helping family with children who are dealing with uh, lead paint issues where we can help um, mitigate those. We typically will do repairs from roofing and siding and windows to plumbing and electrical, all the way down to foundation and structural repairs. We have a skilled team of staff that are in the field every day working on homes. Along with that, they're able to mobilize volunteer labor. We're typically between six and 800 volunteers in a year. Some of them volunteer for a single day and others come out numerous times throughout the year. And we use contractors to help with work that isn't volunteer friendly, but is really critical, like electrical and plumbing, roofing and other things like that. There's a great need out there. A lot of people own their homes uh, many times the homes are paid for, but the, the family has aged. They might be second, third generation of the homeowners uh, have had deferred maintenance. A new roof is very expensive. New heating is very expensive. We look at what the emergency needs are, such as no heat, bad leaks, unsafe floors. You know, those types of things are priorities. Very frequently our homeowners are elderly and often have some disabilities. Those two things require improvements in accessibility. So we build ramps, we widen doorways, we add grab bars, we fix handrails. Put in an application a couple year, a year ago, and they got to me, and they are awesome. They really awesome. They are doing a great job in and outside of the house. And as you know, I, I, I'm blessed and better than blessed, cause they're here right now working on my house. And I wonder how I was gonna get it done. My floors in my boys room had buckled up and they put in new flooring in both rooms. They paid my front and my back deck. And as I look around and look at it, they look awesome. They're gonna look beautiful. That's what they're doing for me today. The hardest part of my day is having to go through the list of, of new homeowners who have called with really important needs that uh, we're just not going to be able to get to as quickly um, as that family needs help. I think probably the hardest thing there is to do is to limit what we do in a house just based on limited funding because there are very often are multiple needs and we have a set amount that we can spend so the budget comes into play. The thing that brings me the most joy um, is probably what I did when I started with the organization. Um, I was the first permanent employee 11 years ago and they I was originally hired to work on projects and I still love uh, every time I can go out and work with volunteers or by myself um, and see through out the course of a day, the course of a week, uh, somebody's life really transformed by uh, the opportunity to get the community together and, and help uh, help them solve a really critical issue that's impacting their life. Uh, I enjoy working with volunteers a lot. Volunteers bring a lot of motivation, uh, a lot of different skills, um, but it is the families. You know, a lot of times they have gotten used to situations and they live with them. And I, and most people look at that and say, "Gosh, that should have been fixed a long time ago. That's dangerous." Or that's uh, a real problem that's going to get worse and sometimes it's a fairly simple situation a little plywood you know can fix a whole lot a little treated wood um, so solving problems for families families come back in their house and uh, we've cleaned it out and I believe that it gives them a chance to, to maybe start a new way of life you know, the people look at their homes and they think it's a hopeless situation and hopefully we can get in, come in and jumpstart them and send them down a, a more productive path. And I know that you know kids are safer. But that, that's probably gives me the most joy. My boys will love it. I, I know when they get home from school today, they can say, Pop, have mercy, the same thing I just said. This look great, Pop, this look great. They're gonna smile and they're gonna be so happy. Rebuilding together, I will always, always do what I can to help them to help others.